welcome to the Posh Travel Blog. I'm Stuart. And I'm Christina. And we're currently on the Norwegian getaway and uh, on a cruise around the Mediterranean. And we've decided to do our top 10 most important things that you need to know um, about the cruise. Money saving tips. Uh, money saving really. tips and obviously useful information. Yeah. And we're going to be counting down from number 10 down to number one. So stay tuned for number one because the last three things are really important. So. They are. So we've been caught out and we don't want you to be either. So yeah, yeah. stay tuned. So here we go. So number 10, counting down, is start with the spa. Um, yep. Just keep an eye out on uh, your, the special offers that come through with the daily, um, the daily newspaper, the free freestyle daily you get that delivered to your cabin telling you all the events but with, yeah, on a port day they the spa do advertise um sort of special offers facial massage and some really good good, good deals so yeah um, because it's quite an expensive spa very yeah um so if they do a deal on um say so many things like massage and, and ankle massage and this that and everything else for about 199 whereas one of the things would usually be over that so uh, it's it's the good deals but they are mostly on port days, obviously, when everyone's ashore. So. Yeah, we, we we went for a massage. It was very expensive, and um, it was it was it was lovely. It was okay. Yeah, um, it's just oh, what I didn't like was after the massage, it was like really hard sell. You know, it's like you need to have another one every three days. You just and come out all relaxed and sit in the relaxation room, and then JK come over with all this cream. You must buy this cream. You must buy that cream. Yeah, uh, you must book another one. You must. Uh, ah, so we couldn't wait to get out of there. We went yeah, out sweating. So. It was. I was more tense when I went out <laughs> we than when I went in. One, so I, yeah, it was. Yeah, didn't. Yeah. Lovely massage, but it was kind of ruined. It's sort of tarnished. That was a lovely spa. End. So, but yep, with the spa, keep an eye out for the special offers in the newspaper, the daily newspaper, and don't let them upsell it afterwards. If you, exactly. Yeah. That's ten. And number nine. <laughs> so number nine is just a quick hint for you. It's dress code. Um, everybody wants to know about that. Um, this cruise is so casual. We are on a Mediterranean cruise, like I mentioned earlier. Lots of families were in July, and um, everyone just goes to dinner in shorts, trainers, t shirts. It's really not dressy at all. So, when you're packing for the holiday, I wouldn't worry too much about ball gowns or, or, or tuxedos because it really isn't like that at all. It's so relaxed. I bought, I bought far too much, really, did. We with hardly me. worn anything. Yeah. Of what we bought, shirts and things. Yeah. It's just everyone's just so casual. Very so, very relaxed. Yeah. Uh, there's not even a dressy night or anything. So every night is the same. Everyone just wanders around, totally casual. The only two restaurants you can't wear um, shorts in is the uh, French restaurant and the Ocean restaurant. The two Apart speciality. from that, the main dining rooms, anything goes. So yeah. don't worry about packing too much. No, we have seen a few people sort of dress up, haven't we? On if you're going to the speciality, it's quite. I, I like to personally. Yeah, very dress few up, and far between. Yeah. A few people do. Um, very relaxed. Yeah, so that's it. Dress code. So number eight, we think is laundry. Um, it's quite expensive individually to pay for the laundry, and they have a promo. So keep an eye out for that. It's, it's inserted into the um, the newspaper, newspaper, the daily paper, and it's for a paper bag for twenty nine US dollars. Yeah. And it's, it's not a huge paper bag, but if you put it on the floor gently and then push down really hard, you can get a lot in there as well. It doesn't have to be closed at the top, so you can just sort of scrunch it at the top. Yeah, so it, it we says managed to get quite a bit in. It says it's a wash and fold, um, but it came back in a lovely basket, and to me it looked pressed yeah, it perfectly. Was. It was so really uh, good. Very, very important. $29 yeah. for that, so Really bargain. good value. But it was in the newspaper, but it wasn't. Christina's father's on the cruise with us. It was in his newspaper, but it wasn't in ours. So just ask your steward, if you don't receive a copy and it's usually mid cruise this is a nine day cruise this first one and it was halfway through so 29 dollars filler bag bargain really is and very good yeah so number seven number seven is um the shuttle buses uh it's a mediterranean cruise it's 15 dollars ncl charge for their return round trip shuttles in most of the ports that we've we've been to um and that's quite a lot if you're a family of four um adds up and not only that it was just the queues it was like three four hundred deep in oh, some of the ports in croatia um, in um zadar in croatia the queue was miles long because obviously it was a half day tour a half day cruise we had to leave at two o'clock so everyone returned at the same time it was absolute pandemonium um so but we just took a taxi and in the places like croatia they're very honest the taxi drivers so and they've got the prices up on the board so rather than paying 15 dollars each I mean, it's 15 euros for a taxi. So to us, it, there's only two of us. 
it, it was similar sort of price to the shuttle buses, but if you're a family, it, it was four, a tax, and we didn't have to wait around. So it would be a massive saving. But yeah, family for big saving. Yeah. yeah. So have a look at that um, when you go ashore. And, yeah. Again, on destinations, maybe sometimes, obviously in the Mediterranean, you are you can negotiate, and it's pretty fixed. A lot of the the taxi. Um, Rates are shown and displayed, so uh, yeah, it's yeah so. certainly in, in the middle. I guess if you're in some ports where you don't feel so comfortable, then you probably may want to book for security, the ships tour, some Caribbean islands and places like that. Or, um, but yeah, just in the med, it's so straightforward. So yeah, that's an idea. Okay, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Number six, the beverage package, um, and and buying specialty what well ex. Buying nicer glasses of wine from the wine list. We're very, it's very, the clarity is very good on NCL. They give you a wine list, they tell you exactly what you can get. We've just been on a celebrity cruise, it was a bit more misty, you couldn't really see what you could get included True. in the prize. But on NCL, very clear, these are what you can have included in your package, these are extra. Uh, so you, there's a, you can have a bottle of wine off the extra wine list um, with a 20% discount. From, uh, obviously you get the beverage package the included price but if you want to have a nice bottle of wine you get a 20% discount mm -hmm. but we've worked out quite an, a lot of those mm -hmm. nice wines come by the glass so let's just say for example Chateau Neuf de Pap yeah. um, Chateau Neuf de Pap $75, a bottle, $75 a bottle so then you get 20% off which took it down to uh, $60 um, plus then you have to pay the, the 20% on top, so $60. But if you ordered four glasses of Chateau Neuf de Pap, that was only a $5 supplement, so that worked out at $20 for four glasses, or $25 for five glasses, because five glasses in a bottle. So the difference is $25 as opposed to $60. So really good tip. Have a look at the wines by the glass. If you want to go off, off the list and go for a really nice wine like Chateau Neuf de Pap or decoy, a decoy by a Cabernet Sauvignon in California, something like that, then um, it's definitely worth buying by the glass rather than buying by the bottle. The sommelier Absolutely. will want you to buy by the bottle, of course, but buy by the glass. Just a really you good get tip. more and you get it cheaper. And it's he gives you a very good measure as yeah. well. So uh, problem is yeah. now we've got a taste of it, so we're doing it every night. It's costing us money. Yeah, <laughs> having said that, the classic uh, the lead-in package on the drinks is very good. It's really a choice good. of uh, probably four whites, four reds, and a couple well, of roses. More than that. There's yeah. quite a long list of yeah, reds, 15, whites, roses, up to fifteen dollars, and they've got a big selection. Very good on this cruise, actually, for that. So, um, but yeah, buy by the glass rather than the bottle because there's quite You're a few. You're going to upgrade. Good, good hint. So number five um, is the water. Um, it's prohibited to bring any. Any liquids onto the to ship? Any water? Can't bring any, anything on. Basically. No, nothing. No, no food. Foods. No liquids. Yeah. So uh, you, you have to. The inclusive package doesn't include your water, uh, unless you go to sort of the, the the buffet where you've got the, the the ship's water on tap and you can just fill up a, a cup and take it back to the to the cabin. That's a little bit inconvenient at times. Um, so they they have a water package which is really good value for money. Um, in the cabin, you have got like the mini bar, and they're selling this, um, the bottled water there for six dollars fifty a bottle, so that adds up. Um, but the water package um, is flow water; these cartons here, and you get uh, twenty four for forty nine dollars. Um, so well worth um, signing up for that. <laughs> I've just had a one we bought a delivery, <laughs> two packets. Of that. Yeah, and they um, do it by twelve, eighteen, or twenty four bottles. Um, but it, and it works out cheaper the more you buy. So we're on for nine nights. We bought twenty-four bottles. And it's really, I don't know, it's water, not alcohol, but it's really good water. It's alkaline, eight point one from the springs, the spring water. But yeah, it's nice, good, nice, nice water. tasting water. And it worked out for twenty-four bottles, including the service charge, about sixty dollars. Um, so that's going to last us the cruise, really. But they say that you can order it from the room service. Well, if you order anything from room service, you have to pay ten dollars. Um, so if you actually buy it from the atrium bar near the guest services desk, you don't have to pay the ten dollars. So that's ten dollars saving. And they deliver it. For and they still deliver it. So yeah. how does that work out? So, um, but they'll don't deliver it immediately. They'll deliver it the next morning or something like that. So yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a good. The package is good. But order it from the atrium bar. Definitely. Okay. Another hint: make sure you book your tours in advance because we don't usually book tours. 
But on this cruise, we had a little credit that came with our package and we thought, oh, well, we're in Santorini and Santorini, we're in a funny time. It was three o'clock till 10 o'clock at night. And we, and we saw this tour on there. Uh, say, take you ashore, obviously you get priority tender by doing that, and then take you to the beach. But no, fully booked. Then we went, looked at the other tours, fully booked, fully booked, fully booked. The ship's very busy. So if you're going to book tours, I would suggest that you book the tours in advance. As soon as, yeah. yeah. The more organised you are prior to going on the holiday, the, the, the more enjoyment, the more pleasurable the holiday will yeah, be. Yeah, it's better yeah, to get booking out. in advance. Log in on the app or log in on the, on the computer into uh, Manage My Booking and you can bring up everything and you can book your tours and other things as well. So yeah, definitely do that in advance. So number three. We're getting to the top three now. Yes, here we um, are. <laughs> and this is the dining, the main complimentary dining room in the evening. Um, the main one is Tropicana at the back. It is massive. Um, you can go in any time, but it is pandemonium in there. It's it's noisy, it's, it's, it's well for us personally, it was just hell. It really was. Um, <laughs> Mayhem. Well, everybody, you can go in any time, but everyone didn't go in at different times. They all went in at the same time, and we tend to eat about half past eight. Well, and on this cruise, has obviously come out of Italy, and there's loads of Italians and Spanish and Europeans, and like, like and we like to eat, eat, eat the same time as them. And everyone just descended, and it was it was yeah. so noisy and quite long waits between starters and mains, yeah. and it was it was chaotic in there. It really was. Um, so we, there's two other restaurants that are complimentary, exactly the same menu. They're called Taste and Savour. This is um, on Getaway. On Getaway. But obviously they probably had it on the other ships as yeah, well. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Uh, but you do have to sort of commit to a time uh, there, so it's 8.30 or 8.45 or whatever time you like, from 5.30 onwards. Uh, you have to book, book that time and you have a reservation for your whole duration of your cruise, uh, which suits us perfectly. Oh. So we've booked an 8.30 reservation there every night. It's a it's a completely different different completely atmosphere. Two isn't smaller it? restaurants, really quiet and more elegant, and it's a whole different dining experience. It is. The sommelier, the waiters, the it's so it's so much more intimate. So uh, we couldn't believe it when we went, went from Tropicana, and the next night we went there, we thought, oh my god, we've hit the jackpot. And so we've got Christina's father with us, and and his partner's disabled, so they were very good to us, and they have arranged times for us but if you, they are free seating but if you turn up at those two restaurants without making a reservation you won't get in end of story it's no. full. so because everybody yeah. wants to do the same thing so and likewise if you make a reservation in there uh, they give you a 15 minute grace so if you don't turn up then your table's given to somebody yes else if you've now. got a speciality so yeah. you've got that booking and you've got a speciality booking as well they'll give that table to someone else if you haven't arrived within this 15 minutes so yeah. But, but it's yeah get on board get straight down to dining reservations and try and book because it's just a lot, it's much more intimate. It's just a it's wonderful, wonderful dining experience. It's like a five star yeah. luxury restaurant. It's, it's really completely lovely. changed the cruise for us. Yeah, so definitely do that. So we're number two now. Oh, getting to the, we're getting to the final. <laughs> and this is a speciality dining. Uh, again, you get with your sort of lead in package if you've booked the all inclusive sea, uh, you get two visits to the speciality dining restaurant. We got two because we're in a balcony cabin. I know Christine's father got true, one, yeah, but in the true. package you, they give you one or two, usually, depending on your cabin, depending yeah. what deals are at the time. So, so uh, but again, we, we booked our dining packages prior to leaving uh, for the cruise uh, in the UK, and that was sixty-nine pounds for two two meals. Well, when we went onto the <coughs> system to check in and do the other thing, the app I told you about earlier, there was an offer on there, and it said buy two extra speciality meals. A sixty-nine dollars plus the service fee. <coughs> that was it. Well, if you go into the restaurant, it's more. It's it's well, in most of the restaurants like Cagney's and Ocean and things like that, that everything's individually priced. It's so expensive. last night we went to Cagney's just quickly, and um, four of us ate, and each couple would have would have cost one hundred and ninety-nine dollars for the meal, but we got it free because we got it included, um, and also because we booked this two extra speciality meals for $69, which is a bargain, but that means it's about 30, well, 30 odd dollars, $35, you know, for each restaurant, so bargain. So if you see that on the app or, or on, the, on the computer, just when you're doing your thing, and then just add that on, because yeah. it's really worth it. It really is, and, and make your dining reservations in advance, you can do that as well. You can either do it on board as soon as you get on board, yeah. or you can do it on the app before, Important. You, before you embark. And that just the more organised you are, as I say, the more enjoyable the yeah. holiday will be. 
and uh, it's awful if you miss because those yeah, speciality restaurants do get booked out and then you're just left with rubbish times at 5 30 or really mm. late at night so make your reservations in advance because the speciality restaurants are, are fantastic aren't they, they? they really are excellent yeah, yeah really like Christina said the more organized you are in advance the easier and nicer it will be for when you get yeah. on board because the guest services desk is heaving the restaurant reservations desk is heaving and they put a big screen up with the re all the names of the restaurants with red yellow or green full, full, dots full, how if it's full or nearly full they're all red yeah so, so book in advance get yourselves organized it's really it. and it's fantastic yeah. and one small tip there if you're in santorini like we are and it's a late night and you're staying on board oh gosh, yeah. book the outdoor restaurant and sit there and see this most spectacular sunset and view it's incredible. incredible yeah so just that's another little hint there, so. amazing and it opens out onto the waterfront so you've got um you just, yeah that's that was Cagley's steakhouse yeah. and getaway it's it was fabulous. amazing so yeah so definitely pre-book your speciality mm -hmm. dining and go for the offer if it's on there because it's worth it and finally number one the most important well we think is the most important because we fell foul of it we really made a mistake so learn from our mistakes um yeah. and that's tender tickets uh, such a big ship We'd had no idea of... We'd got nearly 4,000 people on this ship and we're in in Santorini yesterday, like I just mentioned, and we're tendering and the ship arrives at 2.30 in the afternoon and leaves at 11 o'clock at night. Well, I mean, if you don't buy your tender tickets or, or, or reserve them in advance, you've got a two and a half hour wait for a tender, yeah. minimum. And if you're, if you're only in these magical destinations, maybe once or whatever you're coming over from the USA, um, yeah, just get organised. As soon as you get on board, you can go on or onto your TV screen and yeah. book these tender tickets. So uh, Yeah, you know, television or there's screens near the guest services um, or you can go to the, uh, the box office near the theatre, which is the tender tickets during certain times and make your reservations for the tenders. And then you can get on first. Obviously, the tours go first. So if you've booked a tour, you'll get off first anyway. But if you just want to do your own thing, go there and get your tickets early because I mean we're lucky we've been to Santorini before if we hadn't we'd be oh, quite be upset devastated. because yeah. we got off the tender and it was a long wait to get up to the tender and then we finally got ashore and there's a massive queue for the table because we're up. the last tender it's so, like yeah um so yeah, yeah just be. learn by our mistakes it really is worth tender and I think tickets. there is a I don't know the exact price but um again on the app prior to cruising I think you can pay $250 on don't quote me there. I think Very a 10 day cruise is about $279. It's depending on the amount of days you go, the price changes. So, and it's called a priority package. I think it, it gives is. you priority embarkation again, because when you're embarking on the cruise, that's a bit of a, uh, a nightmarish day as well. Uh, in Trieste, it was certainly, wasn't it? And yeah, that will just give you priority boarding and priority tenders. And priority disembarkation. You get complimentary uh, uh, breakfast every day, a continental breakfast in the cabin if you want it, and a $50 uh, spa credit. And this is all part of this priority package that you can book. But it does give you the priority tenders. Which so that would be quite, quite good. expensive. But if you're a big family, then and it's per cabin they charge, it might work out, you know, and you're just first off each time. And yeah. that, that would be lovely. So have a look at your itinerary. If you can see lots of tender ports on your itinerary and you think, oh, then obviously if you're docked, it's not going to make it any difference to you because you can just walk off the ship. But tender ports have a problem. So... That's, That's it. Our number one. That's number one. Well, we think it is. Yeah, <laughs> so, I hope, yeah, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching it. And as I say, learn by our, our mistakes. Um, we're on the getaway, and we're actually on a back-to-back -back cruise. So we're we're now going to be really oh, we're, we're hot on it now. This next so. cruise, we're going down to guest services. The first day, second, we've got well, our dining reservations. We've yeah, tender we reservations. Oh, we we're are. really gonna, and we we've are. got another crack at Santorini as well, haven't we? Yes, so, we uh, have. Which we do yeah, love. So. Um, yeah, so we'll get tender tickets there. <laughs> so yeah, stay tuned to our channel or subscribe to our channel at the Posh Travel Blog. Uh, we'll be doing a full ship review and a full dining guide and uh, the various cabin categories that we're staying in. So thank you so much for watching uh, and give us a thumbs up. All the best. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Bye.